Hello my friends! It's meal plan day again. That was ridiculous. And I'm just really sorry about the way I look right now. I'm really sorry about the state of my room. I'm not going to give you any excuses. I'm feeling extra lazy today. I'm not even sure that I actually want to go to the grocery store. I think this week I just want to order my groceries either from Kroger or I haven't done the Walmart one yet. I want to check it out and see, but I think that's what I want to do this week is just order from Kroger, drive through, and pick it up because I can't be bothered. Something about the weather here recently, um, well, I'm going to put it on the weather, but it's really just me. I just don't feel like doing it, you know? <sighs> Who knows? We'll see. Anyways, I showered and haven't gotten ready yet because I'm not sure that I'm leaving my house today. So take me for what I am who I was meant to be. Yes, there is a giant camera right here pointed down at my menu because, uh, well, anyways, the other day it wasn't working out and I just showed you. Anyways. <laughs> okay, so this week I ran out of a lot of things. So I have like um, depleting inventory, a liquidation, if you will, of the stuff that I've run out of from the kitchen. We're expecting company in the later half of the week for about three or four days, so I'm going to be doing some different kind of stuff there. Um, yeah. Won't be able to film those days because it's going to be rowdy in my house, but I'm just going to be doing simple things like a pasta recipe that I've already filmed before and then like grilled cheese with soup and stuff like that. So yes, that is what I feed my guests, grilled cheese and soup. I save the good stuff for when they're not here. That was horrible, but it's also kind of true. Um, so anyways, let's dive right into this. Um, today is Sunday the 20th and surprisingly I was off from work, which is a good thing because I needed some me time today. So I don't have a plan for tonight. I kind of want to get takeout tonight, but I haven't decided. If we don't do takeout, then I don't have any idea what we're going to do. Love that. Love that the most. Um, but let's just go ahead and start right in with Monday. There's a casserole recipe that I really want to try because it looks really fun. It's um, this cheeseburger and fries casserole recipe, which is going to be super cool. I can't look at that. Here we go. That's better. It looks super fun, so we're gonna do that. And yeah, okay, this is hard. This is hard to do. All right, so the ingredients for that is one and a half pound of lean ground beef. Wait, let me see the servings. This is six servings, so um, let's get some ground beef. Three quarter cup chopped sweet green pepper. I have green peppers, but I'm doing a stuffed taco. Yeah, I have peppers left over from last week. Chopped onion. I need to get a new bag of onions because mine are almost out. Um, minced garlic. I would like to go ahead and buy another jar of minced garlic because I've been missing it. <laughs> and then diced tomatoes, which I have. Water. Tomato paste. Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> Whatever. Um, a can, a, what is coming out of my mouth? Oh my god, I look like such a mess. One can of cheddar cheese soup, which I know I don't have. So let me put that on here. Hmm. Okay. Sour cream, which we might have a little, but if I do the stuffed tacos and this, then I won't have enough. So I'll put sour cream at the bottom where I put my dairy item. And then half of a bag of frozen french fries. Do I have fries? I'm pretty sure I have fries, but I'm going to double check on that. So that's the first recipe. And then the second one is the stuffed peppers, which I talked about and I actually had on my meal plan last week, but we didn't get around to doing it. And I can't remember why, but it's one of our meatless dinners. Um, so we're replacing beef with like beans. And rice. Obviously, what else would taco stuffed peppers be? Um, but I think I'm going to have to stock up on a couple of the ingredients again. So here it is anyways, in case you missed it last week. Three peppers. You can do red or green. I also have orange and yellow, so I'll probably use those. And then um, white or brown rice, black beans, green onions. I think that was one of the things that I didn't get last week, so I definitely don't have it. 
seeded and chopped Roma tomatoes. I'm gonna need more tomatoes because I only buy enough to get through the week and definitely not have leftovers. Frozen corn, fresh cilantro, taco seasoning, Mexican cheese blend, and hot sauce if you want it. So just a couple things for that one. Oh, I just got marking on my thing. That's sad. That's really sad. Can you even see my grocery list? Well, kind of. Whatever. Anyways, next. <laughs> next is chicken with pan sauce. And this is one of those, like, cooking basic recipes. So, like, it's not this is the only way that it's ever been made. It's here's how you can always make this, no matter what ingredients you have. Does that make any sense? Um, if you're looking here, we've got, like, this mushroom pan sauce and then a cilantro sauce, tomato parmesan, bacon leek, lemon thyme. I think I want to make, um, I think I want to make the, tom the tomato parmesan pan sauce. So basically what you need is, um, chicken, which I always put on my list. I always buy chicken frozen because I always need to have it in the freezer. Salt, pepper, olive oil, dry white wine or chicken broth. That's funny because it says uh, dry white, wi white wine or chicken broth and then under that chicken broth. So either a lot of chicken broth or half wine, half broth. Finely chopped shallot or onion, heavy cream, and then butter. And then for the Parmesan, tomato Parmesan, you need uh, grape tomatoes and Parmesan cheese. Which I'm just going to cut up a tomato into smaller bits because what's the point? My camera was flashing stuff and it was weird. Okay, so that's for Wednesday, and then Thursday we're having whatever leftovers we have, and pizza, because that's the day our company is coming, and then um, Friday I'm going to make the classic, the carbonara and garlic bread recipe that you will see in another video from the old cookbook, if I filmed it. If not, it's super easy, and I'll go back and look. If I didn't film it, then I'll do it again, but um, we want to have salad that night too, so I'm going to get salad mix. I should still have a cucumber in the fridge because I'm not sure I made salad mix last week. And then I'm going to need a baguette. I think I pulled all of the butter out of my freezer, so I'm going to put butter on the list and then I'll have the garlic. And so that's that. And then Saturday we're doing grilled cheese with soup, so should I make soup? I think I should make soup. So, uh, I guess Friday night I'm going to have to put potatoes in the oven so that we'll have potatoes. And then I'm going to need to get a stick of celery, literally one stick of celery, onion, butter, milk, um, a bouillon cube. I need to get real bacon bits. I shouldn't have put that with the meats, but real bacon bits. We have cheese. Butter, flour. Yep, that should do it. Okay. And then Sunday we're going to have leftovers again because uh, we may or may not have company that night as well. So if we do, um, we might just like run through a drive through or something really quick. And then I still want to make the apple crisp dessert this week because I didn't do it last week, but I still have the apples. Oops. So that's cooking apples, brown sugar, lemon juice, rolled oats, brown sugar. Wait, didn't I already say brown sugar? Yeah. Brown sugar, flour, cinnamon, or nutmeg, or ginger, butter, and oats. Okay, so that's everything for the recipes for this week, but then I also need some extra things. And the extra things is just stuff that I ran out of, so I need to grab a thing of sugar. I need some more tea. I'm going to pick up Mountain Dew 
and coke for the guys for while they're here. I need one case of water. I'd like to grab chips and cheese poofs and some cookies and we definitely need milk. I'm gonna grab almond milk. Um, I need to get some more wine. We're almost out of maple syrup and coffee creamer. Oh wow, I think that's it. <laughs> My whole list, it's so short. Maybe I will go to the store because I know if I shop online at Kroger, I'll end up getting extra stuff because I see the deals. Daggummit. All right, well, that's it. And uh, I'm going to go. Oh, I really need to edit some videos, man. You don't care. All right, I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully, with a recipe for the cheeseburger and fries casserole. Give this video a big thumbs up if you're looking forward to trying any of the four recipes that I have on here. Subscribe to my channel so you don't ever miss out. And I will see you next time. Bye!